So today's the day I'm coming clean about the meta I use in zombies whenever I'm not recording and I'm just chilling, which makes things a thousand times easier. And I'm not lying. You're just going to have to watch the video, try out the gun, try out the build, etc, etc. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and number one, enjoy fellas all right enjoy the video later and mods for sponsoring this video they are a awesome call of duty service company basically they go in they unlock stuff for you they give you the borealis and interstellar camo you can play in lobbies to complete hard challenges that maybe you just can't complete they're trusted by thousands of customers they have very 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 good reviews with Trustpilot. Make sure you guys go check them out. Link is in the description. You guys can use code SPAZO to save up to $100 off on your order. So I've kind of been lying and I just want to apologize. I've been telling you guys that some of these guns in the game are my mains and the past about week or so off camera I've been using the one and only Camara, and it doesn't disappoint. Um, you guys can be the judge of it. All I say is just try out the build before you trash talk the weapon or anything of that sort. Just try out the build, try out the gun, um, use it how it's supposed to be used, and I promise you it will change your mind, and it'll be definitely one of the top guns you do run. Now, if you're a player like me and you have all the schematics yet you still play, you're not really focused on bosses. Um, maybe you are, maybe you're not, but we all know the guns are the guns that are meant for bosses we've kind of already ran through a ton of them on the channel and we already know so there's no point in saying that this gun's good for bosses because it's it's not it's not good for bosses okay that is probably the one and only con with it but with zombies this thing destroys and i mean destroys how fast it kills zombies at a close range with headshot is insane um i have kept this you know, kind of quiet. I've seen like two comments in the past like month about this gun, and I'm glad nobody has like taken it as a serious comment because this gun is the sleeper meta of MWZ. And you might be thinking, bro, what the hell are you talking about? There's no meta in zombies. Every gun's the same. Oh, when you triple pack a gun and turn it legendary, it's good. How don't he know this? Every gun's good. Actually, it is not. Um, if you think that, you just don't really play much, or you just use the same weapon over and over and over again. But, that being said, just try this build, I promise you guys. We're going to go ahead and grab this Outlast contract over here, and we're going to farm this up. Now, I don't have a self-revive. Uh, if you get, I, I brought in some items as well. I'm sure you guys kind of seen that. I didn't really discuss it when we had them. But, we have our gun legendary and triple packed. If we can, we'll head to the Dark Aether in this game. But if not, I'm not going to stress about it. But I would like to get uh, Deadshot before we go. Now, I would recommend getting Deadshot. It's 2,000 Essence. That's one Tier 1 contract or one Tier 2 contract um, or one Tier 3 contract. Uh, I, I definitely recommend Deadshot. I recommend Deadshot with every gun in the game. <laughs> if you're running a gun, I just recommend getting Deadshot. Uh, if I have the chance to, I try and always get Deadshot first, or that's a perk I always load in with when I have it the uh, when I have the opportunity to. But this gun, when you headshot, it is insane, dude. We're gonna fly through this contract, but like I said, with bounty contracts, don't use this gun. I'm just being 100% honest. Don't use it. It's not good. Like you'll kill the bounty. Don't get me wrong, but there's guns that are way way better, way way better. So I don't want you guys to think to uh, use this as a bounty slayer when it's not. I definitely would never lie or bullshit. All right. But on the build, you guys see I'm using the laser uh, as basically my optic. Now, you can take this laser off and like put on an optic, or you can just change it for another attachment. The iron sights aren't that bad with this. I just threw it on because it was part of the build. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see right here, we have this mangler. Now, if you headshot him, obviously, yeah, it's going to do a lot more damage. Right Brother, your mic is loud as shit. Hold up. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, do a little disconnecting real quick from voice chat, because I do not want to hear that. Let's go ahead and jump over here. But, yeah, I mean, if you're running the Dark Aether, it's e it makes the Dark Aether easy. It does. You know, when you're fighting zombies. When you're fighting bosses that aren't bounties and you have dead shot, you're just going to fight or slay them. Um, like when we do headshot damage with this on the actual bosses, it's 
it does pretty good damage. We'll just have to get dead shot to be able to like 100% test it out. So there's the contract done. That was pretty easy. Not many zombies spawned in. All right. There we go. Grab that. Grab that as well. We have golden armor plates. We don't really need to re replace our plates. But well, we can run this contract real quick. There's that mimic. Let's do a little non-bounty boss testing. See, it kills these guys pretty quick. That's what I'm saying. If you're not doing bounty contracts, you are, like, perfect using this. Even, you know, with non-mega or non-bounty megas, you can kill them pretty fast. But, like, if you're doing bounty contracts and you're trying to, like, farm reward rifts through bounties, definitely use, say, something else like the tears or a sniper or, you know, just something that is really meant for boss kills. All right. This spore contract's right over here. Come on, Spore. Spores are honestly a very easy contract if you can kind of get the hang of it. Uh, my strategy is kind of just a no-brainer. Throw every single inhibitor on and then destroy them. That's usually how I do it. Although a lot of zombies spawn in. Because uh, simply zombies spawn in whenever you throw an inhibitor down. So you throw all six down at once, you're going to get hella zombies. But we're going to hurry up and make quick work of this contract. Throw that one down. Especially on this side, the best thing to do is just use the uh, obstacles for the zombies to your advantage. Give them time to freaking jump through the windows and crap. These golden armor plates help a ton. Use these little uh, flower beds, I call them, or tree beds, whatever you guys want to call it. It really don't matter. Use those to your advantage as well. It takes time for the hellhounds or, say, something else to jump up there. All right. We do have PhD, so we could call him this Precision. Just pop it right here. No worries. If we have to, we can call in our... Uh, or we can throw a decoy down. If we gotta do that. But yeah, I've gotten so used to this gun, because this is really what I use in like my off, off time, when I'm just chilling, vibing, and playing. Oh, we got a camo for it. Nice. But yeah, when you're up close and personal, which is kind of how most zombies encounters are, you're going to fry. Like, insanely fry. I do need to destroy these, though, before they disappear. <laughs> I would turn around and kill all these zombies, but I don't want to risk having to uh, re-get some inhibitors. Because that is so annoying, dude, whenever you, like, take a little bit on your contract. There we go. Alright. Let's take these guys down. And to me, when you're using this, it don't really feel like the zombies have any different health. So, like, say the fully armored zombies versus the regular zombies, it don't seem like they have different health. Because, like, I mean, dude, one shot and you're putting them down. I don't know how much it does per shot, but the fire rate and then the high damage is what makes it what it is. But I would definitely like your guys' opinion if you use an optic instead of the laser. Because I'd hit way more shots if I used an optic. I just like it because it's quicker aim down sight speed. So you can kill faster. There we go. Sigil. Nice. Uh, we'll throw that on. Okay. We can actually go to the dark ether now. But, alright. I'll see you guys in the dark ether. Let's do this, man. Uh, we can just go grab this one first. Usually my typical route. I guess I could buy some perks. I mean, what else am I going to spend this essence on? I'm so glad, dude, there's freaking no glitch where, like, you go to the Dark Ether and it takes your rarity. That would be terrible, man. With all the bugs and stuff in the game, I would not be surprised. You know what? Screw those perks. I don't even need them. <laughs> there's too much going on back there. I am not going to risk my life. Oh, also, I'll try and showcase how I get a lot of legendary ether tools in this, which is kind of a no-brainer, but a lot of people run past it, even in, like, because I watch a little bit of MWZ content, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll chill in, in bed, you know, with a bag of chips and uh, watch some MWZ or just some OG COD zombies. But when I watch MWZ, I see a lot of people go to the Dark Ether and they forget this one major thing that is honestly... And it... You know who I'll put to blame? Freaking Urzakistan, man. Because the way it is there, it does not, like, give people a reminder to do it here. But I'll showcase it. Let's go ahead and get this one done. I always try and use a Casimir on this side. Then when I need a gun, good old Camara's there to help. 
There you guys, you guys just seen it right there. It's a, one bullet does like three quarters damage and then the other one obviously finishes him off. Pause. <laughs> Pause, bro. Uh, I hear a mangler. Where are I? Oh, there you are. I knew I heard him. Plus, I seen him shoot. Oh my gosh, get up the ladder. Hellhound. Jump! Alright, what do we got? Mangler, zombie, zombie? Okay. I honestly like this more than, like, say, the Tempest Razorback. There we go. Let's get this done. Watch our back. Try and save the self revive in case we need it for the outlast. There we go. Contract's over. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, you know what? It was all right. That's an all right reward rift. I wouldn't say it's definitely one of the greats, but <laughs> I'll take the Casimir and the self res. All right. Let's go ahead and grab this outlast. Here we go. We're going to try and save this Casimir throughout this process. We want to save it for sure. All right, let's get up here. You can go through whatever way you want, honestly. Sometimes I do different routes. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just do things to do things. I will take every single one of you, and I'll take a monkey bomb. I will never say no to a monkey bomb. There we go. Dang, dude. I'm unlocking camos like crazy. <laughs> That's like, what, the third camo I've unlocked this game? Shoot, we might be getting freaking the golden camo. I forget what it's called on the MW2 guns. We might pull the golden camo this game. I don't even look at these camo challenges, man. You get them crazy. Usually they're critical kills. At least one, so you can kind of think of that. Sometimes they're hellhound kills as well. Which, when you come here, man, hellhound kills are freaking easy. Because there's so many, dude. Alright. Pop over here to this side. Do some damage on these guys. Gotta watch our back when you're here, man. Keep in mind, the more zombies you kill, the more that spawn in. Well, that's not true, but they respawn. So you gotta get them at different locations then. So I guess, in a sense, more spawn. That was just, that confused the hell out of me while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I meant to jump. Grab that nuke. Alright, reward riff right here. Dog bone, elder sigil, okay. I'll actually take the dog bone and be happy. Alright, so legendary ether tool. You guys know the big orb inside of Urzakistan that you guys can kill? The multiple ones there's always a guaranteed orb at this corner you guys see it over there try and shoot this down but beware there's always a mega and there's always a shit ton of zombies so do what you can i mean you really can't freaking do it too too far away you always got to stay on to him because he will once you take one shot he'll try and freaking get up in his little thing and disappear on you so you really got to be careful i'm gonna call him this dog bone Help me with some of these zombies. Throw that. But usually almost every game I can get a legendary ether tool just from this. Sometimes, you know, you won't. You'll get rare. But it definitely has a high chance of dropping legendary. But you gotta stay on him, man. Or else he'll do that. And if you let him do that, he'll disappear. And there's no respawning. There we go. Alright, what did he drop? Mm, let's see. Okay, epic. Okay. Well, epic's not bad, man. But yeah, you get a lot of legendaries for sure, so I definitely recommend just doing that. It takes, you know, a little bit of time. It don't take a lot of time at all. All right, let's do a little gun testing. We do have a little bit of time left. Let's just fry some zombies for a little bit. Where are you going, big fella? How the heck are you guys? Oh, there's my dog. That's why. Uh, I hear a mangler. 
chuck those down there at you, big fella. Is that thermite still over there? It is. So, I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you stick a thermite onto his eye while he is lasering, it instantly destroys his eye. Well, usually it does. <laughs> I don't want to say that and then I'm going to throw it and it won't happen. It's usually how it goes. Ooh. Yeah, we got a mimic. Alright, everybody follow me. Join the party. Beam! There is a 20 round magazine attachment for this, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Because you only have 40 at pack, and that is little to none. see it's definitely a good little strat I mean it melts bosses bosses it melts bosses dude sometimes I say the dumbest things dude quit attacking my dog bro what is wrong with you bro wait did he just kill my dog you dick that's such an asshole moment mega yeah. Dude, we ate away at that health bar. I ain't even gonna lie. Let me pop this real quick. I don't want him to supercharge me. Just gotta wait for that eye to open, to be honest. Ugh. Ugh. Should have just done got up here. That ain't gonna work. Laser me. Laser me. There we go. Alright, what do we get? Refined crystal? I don't have no room for that. What do I have? Okay. Alright, we're gonna extract. Extraction's way up here. We did a little bit of work down there. Let's go ahead and hop up through here. And then just run up through the top, man. But, uh, yeah, while we're going to Exville, I'll throw the build up on screen right now, just so you guys can check it out. But I definitely recommend using this gun. Like, I've noticed that running this Dark ether is just super, super easy, and I'm not lying. You just gotta know how to use the gun. Use Deadshot to your ability or your advantage, and you'll fry. You literally will fry. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, not forget to leave a like, subscribe. You guys know the deal. We're on the road to 50,000 subs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.